Hey guys, I wanted to go over test servers um, and general servers that exist, account linking and re-rolling, so should hopefully be able to get through all of those quite quickly. Uh, one thing to note, the game is changing quite quickly and especially regarding test servers, I believe we're going to have some Q&A answers soon. Um, so read the sticky below, I'll update that whenever we get updated information regarding what's happening with that and maybe there'll be some changes to account linking and how re-rolling works as well so i'll try my best to keep it updated below but make sure you do check that just to make sure you have the latest information we'll kick things off with information on servers basically when you create your account or when you download the game and start it you're assigned a server so you can see from my id in brackets i have 49001 uh, this is a test server what this means is that users with on that server will get updates before servers that aren't test servers. For example, 40001 is not a test server and as such people on that server get updates quite a lot later. This is likely to change and I believe there's been some communication on the official Discord, which I would recommend you join, that in the coming weeks they will be brought up to speed with 49001. The reason why I mention this and why I think it's important if there are latest events or upcoming new characters, updates, changes to systems, 49001 with the current latest test server which does change, uh, will get them sooner than the other standard servers. You will be able to enjoy the latest features, the latest content before the other servers. So naturally you want to be as modern and up to date as you can be. So if your account is less than a couple days old or perhaps even a week or you're considering joining Water of Realms and I would strongly suggest that you make sure your server is 49001 and the best way to do that is when you start the game in the tutorial you can hit escape and exit that mission there's no cost it won't cost you any you won't lose anything out you can join it again later but you just want to double check that you're on the the, the right server the server that's the test server that has the latest updates the next part of this is what happens if you're not on the test server how do you go, where do you go from there? And the answer to that is re-rolling, which is a slightly tricky process, unfortunately, but we'll go through that in this video. Another thing to quickly mention is that the latest update seen here, Treasures in the Deep, is only going to be available initially on certain servers, which I will show somewhere, um, which is another reason you want to be on the latest test realms, which should contain all the latest updates like this sooner than others. Currently, as of the date of making this video, if you make an account, to my knowledge, you will either be on 40001 or 49001. So I believe, unfortunately, accounts on 40001 will not get this update until a later period, whenever that is. As always, please check the sticky, I will update it. I will add a link to the official Discord in the description. It is a great source of information. There are some very helpful people there and there are community managers that are pretty good at getting back to us and keeping us updated when they're able to. So, worst case scenario, you check your profile by clicking the icon on the top left and you see that you are not on a test realm and you are not receiving the latest updates and you decide that you would like to re-roll a new account to try to get onto one of them. What do you do? To create a new account, you will first need to link your existing account, which is where things get a bit muddy. This means that you will either have to use a Facebook login or a Google Play login to connect the account so that it's saved. You can't just create account, create account, create account. Um, the best way I am aware of to re-roll without too much pain is to use your mobile device if possible and to use BlueStacks or a emulator of some kind on your desktop or laptop. The reason for this is you can create an account on both. Hopefully one of those two will be the correct server and then you can link that account and then you can switch account on the other one to the linked account and then you can unlink it should you need to re-roll. So you can link, create a new account on your other device, connect, unlink, link the new account, and then you can now have access however you want. If you're able to use the two device method, should both accounts not be the server that you're aiming for, you can link one of the accounts to Google Play or Facebook, and then you can log in on the other device and unlink it but it would have allowed you to make a new account on the first device and you can keep doing that. So a new account, if it's not the right ID, link it, 
log in on your other device, unlink it, new account, and you can keep going until it should not take that many attempts. Everyone I know has done it in the first two attempts. But if you are aiming to re-roll like you would have other gachas until you get a strong starting unit, then this will add a lot of pain to the process, unfortunately. So with that out of the way, re-rolling for a unit, how does that work? And how many summoners or chances do you get? So if you were in the stage where I'm at, you can hit create account. It will, are you sure? Okay. And then it will check to see if it wants to download any updates or what version it's going to throw me on the server will depend on what I have to download, but this doesn't take too long. Before we get started, one other potential that I'd have just tried, but without success, is deleting your storage cache or completely uninstalling the game and trying again. I have just tried it when I have already connected my Google Play account and it did not seem to work, um, but it may be worth giving it a go, but I haven't confirmed that this does work. So if you do find a way to make it work with just reinstalling the game, then let me know below because it could be very useful for other people. Thanks. Okay, so finally I have a account on the correct server again. This was the second account I made because I'm keeping my original account li linked. It was quite easy for me. I just create account, wrong server, connect back by switch account to my main account and then just hit create account again. Um, and now I ended up on this one. So the second time for me. Now that I'm on the right server, I'm going to play for an hour and uh, different timestamps I will see how many summons I have available by running through as much stuff as I can and then I'll let you know in just a second the different timestamps of how much summons you can get and where you can be so I'll be back in a minute took me around 49 minutes it would take about five minutes less I think if you uh, don't mess up like I did um, let's see if there's anything else I can get quest there's 30 if I can buy an item and that's not happening okay I yeah I don't have that installed so I need to buy something always buying these guys is good and now I have quite a decent amount. I now have three summoning shark crystals and 1,070 diamonds. All right, so by the end of that, what I have learned is that in 15 minutes, you can clear chapter one, unlock summoning, and assuming you do the easy small stuff around, um, such as clicking all the red dots basically you can get two summoning crystals and 500 diamonds which is about seven summons and some small amount of change half a summon maybe if you spend 25 minutes to clear halfway through chapter two 
you can have two summoning crystals and 760 diamonds which gets you 10 and some change and if you clear chapter 2 it takes you about 45 minutes and you get three summoning crystals and 1070 diamonds which totals about 15 so my recommendation would probably be quite easily just get to the end of chapter 1 and time wise it works out better than trying to go all the way through chapter 2 um, but since we've done it let's summon all right so a super tiny summoning session uh, uh, more than I can do on my main account since I was also impatient and have not saved up there uh, so it's a little a little bit of uh, summoning therapy getting to see all the shiny blue lights but I have hope there will be a legendary and then I will not use this account again and be very upset about it um, let's do them one by one it's more fun I like seeing the spinning and the lightning it makes me feel good I have noted you can tell if it's going to be a epic or a legendary based on the sound if you have your volume on uh, it sounds a lot fancier I can't quite tell through the animation yet until quite late in the cycle but you can you can tell by the sound um, which I don't have on right now so I have no idea I just know that I'm disappointed <laughs> But um, there's, some, there's some cool stuff out there I, I've not actually seen anyone use yet. So I'm very curious. I, I really want to see them and um, use them. Make them fight stuff. See what they're like in combat. But um, I don't quite think I'm going to get the chance, unfortunately. The RNG gods are not shining on me today. But something to remember. Epic, that's cool. Aswan, he is a fusion unit. He is considered pretty good though. He's a very good um, fusion unit. Definitely worth building if you ever pull this guy. Definitely worth fusing if you ever need a marksman. So let's see what else we can get. Surely this account is blessed. With Hayden. Perhaps it should be a Hayden account. I love this guy. He's just so edgy. The way he's staring under the hood, it's like the most tropey, edgy ranger assassin brooding guy. Like you know he sits in the corner and doesn't talk to anyone. A flashlord dupe. Flashlord is very good. I would recommend building him. I kind of regret not building mine, honestly. I have pulled um Zealous, the really you know, nat file legendary lich guy super cool looking but he's he's got a high cost to get him out so i don't get much joy out of him uh when you have a new account you get a bunch of summon rewards i uh, haven't got enough to get to the thing i wanted i'm just going to click all the buttons and see what we end up with left um not too bad really not the worst we did get a very very good unit to start with if this was a fresh account and you and you got that fella i would be happy He's a very great unit, and you see him a lot in arena, and he does work. Shouldn't uh, consume all your stamina, by the way. I'm just doing this because I'm pushing buttons. But as you can see, I'm 325 out of 35. You don't want to have a surplus like that because it means it's not regenerating, so you're losing out the excess. Um, something you can do, as you can see, I've got a bunch of blues. I know I don't want these blues, and this is a reroll account, so... I'm going to dismiss them all because odds are I don't want the account if they don't give me a good character. So I've dismissed them. I've got some more diamonds back, which is going to give me two summons. Oh! Shark King. This guy is really good. This is a really good account. I mean, it's two marksmen. Nice if it would be a bit more balanced, but Shark King's great. He's pretty slow to attack and he's kind of high cost to get out compared to some of the other marksmen. But his ultimate fire is a really cool giant water shark that just eviscerates three lanes or three row columns, whatever you want to call them. Um, very good. Really good unit. He was my third unit I six starred. So yeah, big props for Shark King. But that is all she wrote. To summarize, if you want to try your luck rolling and re-rolling, then I would suggest clearing chapter 1 and getting that 7.5 summons. 
rather than going as far as I did and getting 15. For your time, it's it's a lot more worth it, though maybe you might want to consider and factor in the time to reroll to get onto the right server as well, if that's something you're concerned about. In that case, maybe go further, but I would still probably just try for clearing chapter one, taking the seven summons and going on. But anyway, thanks so much for watching everyone. Stay tuned as I'm going to be doing some videos covering some of the upcoming and current events and how and why you may not see them yet. So see you then. Have a great one. Bye-bye.